Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode with me, Bellfire, and today, let me start off by apologizing for how late this episode is. I know it's incredibly late, and I'm sorry for that. I've just been really busy, and I also apologize for last week's episodes coming a week late. Don't worry, we're back on track, or I'm getting back on track today, so everything should wind up being fine. Currently, we are still inside of... If the map will load, I'll be able to... T we are still inside of the base. My plan, though, is to head back out east to do a lot of these side quests. And figure out a lot of these unknowns. Oh, interesting. But yeah, that's that's my plan for today. So, let's go ahead and get into it, I'd say. Okay. I need to bring Ether back for Gaia. Varl and Zoe are waiting for me by the west exit. But I could head back east first. Check on how Plain Song's doing after the attack. Or I could also look around here some more. Yes. I think it'll be better this way. After you, Aloy. Whoops. Sorry, give me one. Huh. Okay. That's interesting. Never mind. I need to head further west to um, get more of Gaia's components, make her stronger. You two can stay here in the meantime, and Gaia can help get you up to speed. I'm not trying to shut you out. This, it's like training. Actually, I'm going to go back east to get Aaron. Bring him here. Look, allies. Friends can help. We have a place to stay now. And like you said, Gaia can teach us. Catch us up. It'll be okay. Okay. Take these then. One to wear, one for backup. Are you going with him? No. After what happened in the cave below, I want to stay here a while. There is much I need to understand. Maybe by the time you get back, I'll have a thing or two I can teach you. Looking forward to it. When will you be back? I'm, uh, I'm not sure. But hopefully I'll have one of Gaia's missing components with me. Be careful out there. Even in Plainsong, we heard how the Tanakh clanlands are suffering from storms, machines, and now Regala. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Good hunting, Aloy. Oh, wow. Tamoth clan lands. Somewhere out there's three of Gaia's subfunctions. And who knows what else. Oh, my lord. Hang on, sorry. There we go. So next up, I'm thinking will be the infiltrator tree. So let me actually go ahead and buy the first scone that. There we go. You let me take a look at you, stranger. You should have missed this chance to trade. You're the outlander who stood against Regala and her rebels. Only if it means we're good here. Don't worry. I'm not here to drink your blood, or whatever you Easterners think we do. The slaughter at the embassy wasn't your fight, yet you stood by the marshals. As far as I'm concerned, you're no enemy of the Tanakh. 
but you are going to need help if you plan on surviving the clan lands. I hear and see many things as a scout. I could share them with you, aid you on your journey. I'd be grateful. Well then, I was scouting northwest of here, near the village of Saltbite. There's a place there where the ground is made of metal. Don't know what it means, but it can't be good. Be wary. Appreciate the warning. Ooh, Iota. Oh. Hmm. N nothing I really want. And when there's a cauldron, there's machine parts. Well, I want to head right here, honestly. Hmm. Purge water is honestly an interesting status effect now. All right, and off we go. Ooh. Ah, oh, yes, yeah, a sliver. in the area. If I leave them be, they'll cause nothing but trouble. I should lie low, find whoever's in charge, and take them out. Maybe then the rest will leave. It's weak against shock. Oh, so the rebel leader's all the way over there. Got it. Yep, but I do not plan on making you my first target. Oh, huh. This one doesn't have fire arrows, apparently. There we go. Hundred damage. Trying to hide, are you? I mean, I'm successfully hiding. Oh, no, I missed.
We've lost her. Go back, but stay awake. We've lost her. There's our killer! There's someone! Ow. Oh, okay. Oh, I forgot you were still here. Just real quickly, let me remind myself. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Ow. Oh, great. Let me direct impact you. Thank you. I should check the body. I find something useful. Ooh, I might actually find something useful. These look like identification tags. I've seen Snox soldiers carry them, but never this many. The rebels must have looted them from soldiers they killed. Mm. Keep them safe for now. Figure out what to do with them later. Use rocks to attract... Oh, attract. I read that as attack. Well, that was rather simple. Although I did get hurt. Still rather simple. What? is tracing the signal back to that metal tower. Might be worth checking out. I think I know what this is. An image of the old world. Huh. Kind of looks like plain song. And some kind of metal structure. I think I see it. If I were to guess... Well, there's one of the dishes. Oh, I need to go further up, I think. Oh, yep. Probably up there. Yeah, if I were to guess, because... Oh, I'm climbing. That's why I can't... Oh, no. An apex, what? Ow. 
Okay, okay, yeah, I'm, that hurt. Oh great, I'm on fire. Man, that was not easy. Much better. Dear Lord. But hey, we did it. Somehow. Oh man. An Apex Sky Drifter. That is the first time I've ran into one of those. Alright. Now, I'm heading back up there. And lookout seems promising. But try to line up the image from there. Ancient lookout? Where? Oh, right here. Oh, yeah, maybe right here. <coughs> Excuse me, so sorry. Oh yeah, no, not right here. Oh, it was behind me. Oh yeah, maybe. So maybe right about here. Looks like I'm higher up than where the image was taken. Higher up. Ah. Hmm. Yeah, my only other guess would be up here. So 
Search near ancient lookout. Yeah, if it told me what the ancient lookout was, that would probably make things sl ever so slightly easier. Pretty sure I'm close. So yeah, it, it might be over there. Oh man, nice. Oh, grapple point. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm even closer here. I'll be back as soon as I find this. I'll see you all in just a second. Figured it out. Oh, I was apparently in the right spot. Wow. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is Shadow Eclipse. I think I'm going to head here. Level 18. Nice. All right. That's pretty cool if you ask me. I just popped my elbow. That was pretty cool. Okay, hang on. Before I forget, notebook machines. Apex Burrower. A hunter-killer variant recognized by black and gold armor plates and purple muscles. It has been modified to be significantly more resilient and deadly. Mew override. Overrides. Cannot override. Oh, that's not good. Cannot override. Cannot override. Oh, so it looks like they're just... The ap apex variants cannot be overridden. Oh, fun. That's fantastic. Oh my lord. Oh, versus a long leg. You see that, Milo? You have to wait for an opening. Care to join the hunt? Got your 
Ledge. What are you? Oh, a leap lash. Okay, that one I... I will head over there in just a moment. Sunhawk Talana Kane Pradesh. Aloy despite the Nora. You're the slayer of Redma. <laughs> the savior of Meridian. Milu is my new thrush. She joined the Hunter's Lodge shortly after the Battle of the Spire. She's heard a few stories about our hunts together. Stay and rest. Make sure you take some medicinal plants for that wound. So what brings you all the way out here? Are the machines back east too tame for you? Not quite. I'm looking for someone. A Karja hunter, about my age. Name's Amadis. He came out here on his own a while back and... Now he's missing. Wonderful. This man you're looking for, is he another hunter from the lodge? <sighs> He'd hate to hear you say that. It's a long story, but he's a former noble. We met out in the wilds after I was wounded on a hunt. He healed me, then helped put a stop to machines that were threatening a nearby village. After that, we, uh, parted ways. Sounds like there's more to the story. Ah, uh, another time. Mmm. So, Milu's your new thrush. Guess that means a hawk can sponsor more than one now? Things have changed at the Hunter's Lodge. Now all who seek to become the best hunters are welcomed as members, no matter their tribe. Don't worry. You're still my favorite thrush. You're really shaking things up. As I promised when I became Sunhawk. And as for Milu, she believes learning to hunt will help her ailing tribe. Who am I to say no to that? The last time we met, you had left Meridian on a contract to hunt a deadly new machine. Several claw striders, it turned out. A hunter killer, too. You said you were feeling restless. Was life as Sunhawk that boring? Well, I had just left the city. I couldn't stand being cooped up with bureaucratic regulations and formalities, but my time out in the wilds helped me realize the lodge needs to be more than a glorified trophy hall. Our hunters should be the spears that safeguard our civilians, like my father and brother were. Sounds like a big challenge. I don't remember others in the lodge being so open-minded. Some are. The rest will get a boot out the door. Hmm, yeah. And I'll get back to it as soon as I find Amadis. I can help you find your friend. I know you must have your own reasons for being out this way. But I'd be glad to have your help. What was he doing out here? He lost someone close to him during the Red Raids. He was heading to the side of the battle to finally lay them to rest. Milu and I were on our way there now. 
The battlefield's near. I can still come with you. No. Go to Stone's Echo, heal, wait for me there, and think on today's lesson. But... You're no good distracted by pain. Go. All hunters need to recover from time to time. Yes, Sunhawk. It's been an honor. Will she be okay on her own? Of course. She's my thrush. Come. The battle feels this way. Ooh, advanced blast trap. Interesting. So this battlefield, you said it was part of the Red Raids? The Battle of Burning Blooms. Amadis was part of the Karja army that pushed into the west. His division attacked the Tanakh, but they underestimated the enemy's forces. It was a massacre. Mm. I never thought you'd be friends with someone who participated in the Red Raids. Oh, don't worry. He was one of the good ones. He tried to stop the attack, but it was too late. He's been on the run ever since. Oh boy. Something went wrong for him out here. Don't worry. I'll track him down. He promised he would get a message back. This is the field where the Tanakh slaughtered the Karja. Looks like time and weather have eroded most signs of battle. But there are a lot of footprints. Must be recent. Let's take a look. Oh. I see now. Heavy footprints. Maybe Osirum. It's too many to tell if Amadas is with them. How about I look around? My focus might show me more. Amadis was supposed to be alone. Why were also around here? Mm. A Karja weapon. The blade's rusted. Must have been from the battle years ago. Okay. Cooking fire. Recent. Whoever was here camped out for at least a night. Oh boy, this isn't looking too great. Hmm. Light prints. Not Osirum, maybe Karja. Looks like there's a trail I can follow with my focus. Talana, I think I got something. Tracks that head away from the battlefield. Lead the way. I don't get it. Why would Amadis keep going west? Maybe there's something else around here? Looks pretty abandoned to me. Man. doing out here. <laughs> Maybe he saw Amadis. Excuse me. Let me guess. You're struggling. Got left behind when the wagons rolled out. Do not worry. I am not the Karja hitting kind. Just an old scavenger grateful for a little company. Name's Lel. You two must be lost. Actually, we're looking for someone. A Karja hunter. He would have been traveling alone, clothes would have been well-worn. Yes, he was here, poking around the old battlefield. Wanted to know what happened. Lucky for him, old Lel hears all the stories. Karja army charged straight into the waiting Tanakh. Most burned, but others, the Tanakh marched back west. Your man wanted to know where. Told him I've heard rumors of a place called the Rot. What is it? A Tanakh prison, or a Karza graveyard, depending on how you look at it. Where is this place? Further west, in Tanakh territory, but that did not stop him. An Asaram caravan was camping out at the battlefield, about to head the same way. He joined them. They all went west, 
towards the ridge. Thanks, Lo. We have to get going. Good hunting out there. Let's head west to the ridge, then. If we find this caravan, maybe we'll find Amatis. Lead on. You mentioned Amatis lost someone close to him at the battle. Do you think the Tanakhs took them prisoner instead? To the rot? I don't know. Maybe. There we go. I, I know I'm just near certain I'm going to need a lot of like pelts. A oh, blaze Shut canisters. Hey, <laughs> what? Level 27. And I'm a level 18. Alright. A large combat machine equipped with a shell that absorbs attacks, converting and storing the energy to power devastating attacks. Great. Uh, give me one moment. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. I'm back. Processing capsule. I have no idea where that is. Energy shell shield. Indestructible. Shell bolts. So I would assume I want to hit those. Frost blaster. Plasma generator. Underneath the shell. Sparker. Uh, underneath the shell. Refining cores. Underneath the shell again. Kinetic dynamo. Highly protected kinetic energy storage used to build up power from the most damaging attacks. Vulnerable if exposed. Chill water sack along its stomach. Resource containers all over its body. Got it. I would love if it would look, would look away, please. Thank you. Oh, where is it going? Ah, thank you. So it has fire, ice, and chill water, apparently. Or was the... F Oh, and it has grinders along its stomach. So it has automated plasma turrets. Never, I don't think those are plasma. They're way. rockets! Ow. Ooh, that hurt. I'm 
not doing too much damage. Oh wow. Holy loot! That was a lot of stuff. What does it say? He was part of the caravan that went through here. The note ends abruptly, when the tunnel started to collapse, I guess. Oh. But there's nothing here about a Karja hunter. And an earlier caravan made it through before the collapse. Sounds like they went to a watering hole on the other side. So he could have made it. Is there another way through? I have a kind of base in the mountains north of here. Oh. There's a passage through it that will get us to the other side. Us? You know, Hawk and Thrush. We'll find your friend together. Head to the western outskirts of Plainsong. There's a path in the foothills there that leads up to the base. I'll make sure someone greets you there and shows you the way through. Then I'll meet you at the camp on the other side as soon as I can. Thank you, Aloy. I knew running into you would bring good luck. Here, take this. May it help on your own hunt. I'll see you at the camp. Oh? Zoe, I ran into an old friend who needs to cross over to the Oh rest. my lord. Can you meet her in the foothills near Plain Song and show her the way through the base? Thing is, she's Karja, but she's one of the good ones. If she's a friend of yours, she must be. I'll show her the way. Seems really worried about her friend. I should look for her at the Alcyon camp when I'm out that way. Well, I mean, I'm going that way either way, so. Okay, what level is this again? Um, quests active 17. We're 18. Okay, we're good to do that one. So main reason I want to check to make sure I'm the right level for certain quests is because at one point I decided to say, you know what? I'm following only the main quest line. I did that. Regretted it. Reason being, I was under leveled for everything. Another rumor. Be careful if you're traveling southwest, champion. Rebels have set up camp in the hills. I'm sure they'd be more than happy to dig your grave. Thanks for the warning. Got it. The high. Got it. Well, there's a tall neck there. Oh, there's a tall neck on the way. Tracks, I can find out where they're headed. I can probably use my focus to follow the tracks those riders left behind. 
I will, but not today. Today I'm trying to get to Aether. And this tall neck. The land out here is sick with blight too. Mm. But we'll be able to heal all of it. Once Guy is strong enough to capture Hephaestus. Not so much. I have to watch my step. Yippee! <laughs> Whoa! I can find out where they're headed. I can probably use my focus to follow the tracks those riders left behind. Bristle box? Fire bristle. Try something other than fire. They're mountable, apparently. Oh man. Oh, no, 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 you do not see me. Please. Oh, great, you're coming this way. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> I win. <laughs> You just, you feel heavy. Oh yeah, no, I'm nowhere near the tall neck yet. Got it. That's a rebel camp. I think. Oh, there's the tall neck over there. Let me go ahead and grab this one while I'm here. Oh, just some chargers. Okay. Never mind, I can't get. What is that? I don't know if y'all can see it. I can... Don't tell me that's what I think it is. It's a Thunderjaw! <laughs> oh no. Okay, hang on. Heavyweight. Kind of like the Shell Snapper. A hulking, heavily armed and armored combat machine. It moves and strikes with speed and ferocity while relentlessly deploying its array of powerful weapons. Oh, that is rough. But same way... Oh, acid, really? It's weak to acid. Good to know. And purge water. The data nexus, cannons, radar, antenna, its heart, chill water canister, disc launchers, glow blast can... Glow blast? Ammo drums. Oh, really? Sparkers, and then its tail. Yep. I will move past that for now. But I will keep that in mind. Let's keep on going. We're almost there. Ooh. That's a very interesting mounting in animation. Oh, 
Oh. The Tanakh. Or Tanakh. Now, but her machines took out my entire squad. Remember the visions. The old ones didn't choose their fight, but still they stood firm. They didn't falter, and neither will we. Brother Batan, you've come to us. You know who I am? Oh. The warrior with hair like wildfire who defeated Regala's champion at Baron Light. <laughs> yes. You are known to us. I am Deku, chaplain of the Lowland clan. You've come to speak with Chief Hikaro. Not quite. There's there's something I need here. Anything you need, the chief will provide. Come. Is that one of the visions you were talking about? Yes. The records of the Ten. I can show you them, if you like. On the way to the Chief. These visions, you said they're the records of the Ten. Who are they? Old ones. Who fought a heroic battle against machines on this very soil long ago. Their deeds are honored in the visions. <laughs> At least what remains of them. To be remembered and exalted. There used to be more of these visions? Many more. Once this place was filled with light and sound. But over the years, they've fallen into darkness. One by one. That is why chaplains are so important to the tribe. We remember all we can of the visions. Etched in our flesh, passed down by word of mouth from generation to generation. One day the whole grove may go dark. The chaplains who come after me will keep the memories alive. Why does Hikaru want to see me? We are at war with Regal. And you've already shown that you can stand against her. I'm not here to fight a war for you. Not for us. With us. But I won't try to persuade you. That is for the chief. He can be very convincing. What does it mean to be a chaplain here? We who outlast our youth study the visions and share their wisdom with our young. What kind of wisdom? How to be a true warrior fight with bravery and unflinching honor and to know when to call for peace you can see for yourself when we go inside mm. all right let's go see chief akaro he's in his throne room at the far end of the grove come be welcome among the records of the ten I am actually very curious. It's glitched. Incomplete. Hmm. The ten were dedicated soldiers. Working together as a squad and sharing in their booty. And when the time came for battle, they took to the skies and leaped to glory. All Tanakh seek to follow their example. Before the chief, it was one of the few things the clans had in common. Oh, really? There we go, finally. More, wow.
During their war, the Ten climbed sheer rock, braiding blinding snow and wind. They stopped at nothing to protect their own. You make them sound invincible. They weren't. But the visions tell us of their courage and strength. Something our soldiers aspire to. The Sky Clan admires this one above all the rest. They make their home in the mountains northwest of here. Okay. That looks like a tall neck. That kinda looks like a corruptor. The ten waged war against their enemy in the desert heat, a land too harsh for any to survive. But against all odds, they prevail. So the desert clan does the same. We must have passed through their territory on the way here. They did. They sound a little extreme. They take that as a compliment. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, hello. Hey, Outlander. It said that relic you wear can hear the voices of the old one. Is this true? Do you have an old world recording? This box was speaking with voices of the old ones. But now there's noise over them. Let me take a look. Where did you find this? We took it from an Asaram Delver. She was trying to steal it and other artifacts from Tanakh's territory. The others were going to bury it in the sand with her. But then I heard the voices. Well, the data here is badly corrupted, but... Delta Juliet 9, you are weapons free and clear to engage the swarm. Good hunting. Copy that. We'll buy Zero Dawn the time you need. Delta Juliet 9, out. Oh. The voices of warriors from the past. And that Osiram wanted to sell them for shards. <coughs> the bravery of the ten. Excuse me, sorry. I'm not sure what you mean by the ten. These voices came from the final battle of the old ones. Another battle? I could learn more about it if I could find the other boxes. That Delver did say there might be more recordings to be found in the wreckage of ancient flying machines. She claimed she had a way to locate them. Yeah. The box with the voice data on it is emitting a locator signal. I could use it to find the others. If you do then, bring them back here. I will see to it that they're treated with proper respect. Whatever sacrifices were made by these ancient soldiers, we will honor them. Let me know when you have one that you'll part with. Do you get many Osirim Delvers in Tanakh's territory? Fewer every time we catch them. Those thieving rats would do anything for the shards. There'll always be some who will risk coming here. And what do you do with the ones you catch? Delvers spend their lives in the dust. So we bury them in it. Alive. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, that is intimidating. Why do you want these recordings? Every battle teaches its soldiers. We should learn those lessons and honor those who fell. That is our way. Okay. If I find more of those recordings, I'll bring them back to you. Black. I knew it was a black box. That's a bit. Oh, that itself is the black box, I think. Okay. Neat. My focus can detect beacons from those recording devices. It should help me to find any others that are still out there. In the jungle, sealed by darkness, trap their enemies. Soldiers in a jungle. Those were the ten? Yes. They knew how to use the jungle's depth to distract the enemy until the perfect moment to strike. Generations ago, my clan, the Lowland, looked to this one for inspiration as they claimed the jungle to the southwest. Mm. Well, 
What's this? It was planted there by the chief. Ask him if you're curious. It's his tale to tell. Okay. All right. Unfortunately, that's all the time I have for today's episode. So I hope you all enjoyed. Please don't forget to, forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share. All that means and stuff. And I'll see all of you in the next one. Bye, guys.